Question 12, we're given the max power output of a train of mass 200 tons and it's 500,000 watts. The mass is 200 tons, 200,000 kilograms is equal to the mass. Find the max acceleration of this train on a level track at a speed of 10. We have V is equal to 10. And there is resistance to motion at this speed of two kilo newtons and that's obviously 2000 newtons is the resistance to motion this way it's 2000 newtons so I'll just doing a little diagram of my train my resistance to motion is 2000 this tract of effort driving it forward power is equal to this tract of effort here f times the speed the power we're given up above five Hundred thousand five oh 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 five. That's going to be equal to this tract of effort by the speed. We're told the speed is ten, so the tract of effort must be fifty thousand newtons. We're looking for we're looking for the acceleration now. The the resolved forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration. The resolved forces are my fifty thousand going in this direction. Minus my 2,000 going in the other direction, so 48,000. It's going to be equal to the mass of this train, 200,000 times A. I can knock off three zeros and then 48 over 200, same as 24 over 100, so 0 0.24 ms to the minus 2 is the acceleration of the train in part 1. In part 2, we're given an incline, 1 and 196, sine A. 1 over 196 and we're asked to find the max acceleration again and we're given speed of 20 and resistance of 9 kilo newtons 9000 newtons so a little diagram going up a hill it's inclined at an angle a where the sine of a i've got my normal reaction my attractive effort my resistance to motion we're told it's 9,000 newtons, 9,000. We have A in here. We have parallel to the ground or to the hill. And that's going to be, well, the way coming down is 200,000 kilograms. So that's 200,000 G. So this force here is 200,000 G by the sine of A. So obviously it must divide by 196, it does with G in there at 198. So what does that work out to be? 200,000 by 9.8 divided by 196. That gives me 10,000 newtons. So we need this one, we need T and power is equal to TV. Power of the train is 500,000. That's equal to the tractive effort times the speed, it was 20. So the tractive effort, it's 50,000 divided by 2, 25,000. So the resolved forces are equal to the mass times the acceleration. The resolved forces, we have 25,000 driving it forward. And we have 10,000 and 9,000, 19,000 resisting. That's equal to the mass times the acceleration. So 6,000 is equal to the mass of 200,000, 200,000. 200,000 from the start. So 6,000 is equal to 200,000 A. So I'm knocking off three zeros, I get six over 200, or three over 100 is equal to A. So A is equal to 0 0.03 ms to the minus 2 and that's a 0, I don't know if I said 19,600 there, I meant 19,000, 0, so a is 0.03 in this question. Question 13, a car of mass 750 kilograms, mass is 750, attains a speed of 30 meters per second and travelling down an incline of 1 and 25, sine a 1 over 25, we do need the cause of A in this question at some point. The sign is opposite over hypotenuse. The square root of 25 squared minus 1 squared, 625 minus 1, 624, which obviously doesn't work out evenly because 625 does. 
So cos a, if we need it, is going to be a root 624 over 25. And we're told then that in the next part, it can attain a speed of 20 meters per second of the same incline when the engine is working. And then we're given resistance to motion is given by this formula. It's equal to kb squared, with the speed being v, v and k being a constant. So part one show that k is equal to g over 30. Okay, let's start with the diagram of the car going downhill. Here's my hill. Here's my car. Here's my normal reaction at the ground. I have resistance to motion. We're told it's this kv squared. So driving it down this way. We have opposing or we have straight down and we have parallel to the hill. And our angle, our angle, we put in these values, mg coming down, 750g coming down, opposite the angle, so this is going to be 750 by the sine of the angle, by 1 over 25 at times g, 750, so that's 30g, 30g, going that way, 30g, just double check, uh, coming down this way, just extend it down maybe, coming down this way, we're going to be adjacent to the angle, so that's going to be 750 by the cos of the angle, root 624 over 25 times g, so that's going to be 30, that's like 625, 624, so that's going to be 30 by root 624 times g, going in that direction. So we're told here, we're told when the car attains the speed of 30, our car attains the speed of 30 down the incline. So we have opposing forces here and the speed. So we have this kb squared, we have this 30g. So at some point the kb squared is going to be equal to 30g at different speeds. So k times the speed when it's 30 will be 900 equals 30g. So therefore, knocking off a zero and dividing by three, we're going to get 30k is equal to g. So k is equal to g over 30. So there we go for g over 30. Yes. And then we're asked to show that the max power output of the engine is 2600g over three. So we do the diagram now with the car going up the hill. We keep it in the same direction. The car is going up the hill. We'll put them here. There's a tract of effort now driving the car up the hill. He's not going down. There's the normal reaction at the ground. We have resistance to motion. Isn't going to change. It's still kv squared. Coming down, we have our forces. The same forces are coming down. So coming down this way, we had 750. Now we have 750g. Then we come down straight, 750g. And this cos, I'll put my angle A in. This was my cos part. So this was 30 by the square root of 624 times g. And my sine part going in this direction now. I'll just change the direction of the arrow. Is what do we get? 30 g. So we have our t driving up, and the resistance is the kv squared and the 30 g. So t has to be equal to kv squared plus 30 g. So let the rod slide up there for a sec so we can work out t here because we have a max speed of 20. We have k from before, which we got to be g over 30. It's in the question there as well, g over 30. So g over 30 by 20 squared, not to the power of 4, 20 squared, plus 30g. We get t here in terms of g. 
so we're going to have 400 divided by 30 so 400 g divided by 30 is 40 g over 3 just something 400 g over 30 knock them off 40 over 40 g over 3 plus 30 g now that's 13 and a third plus 30 so 43 and a third in terms of uh fractions so that would be 130 so 90 and 40 130 g over 3 is the tractive effort driving it forward we're asked to show the max power power is equal to this tract of effort times the speed and it's, it's going 20 we're going to get the power output to be 130 g over 3 times the speed which is 20 so that's just gonna let me simplify that 2600 okay that's what they want 2600 yeah 220 130's power is equal to 2600g over 3 and then the last part part 3 show the max speed of the car on level ground is 29.65 meters per second assuming that the power output remains the same so we do a diagram for level ground we have the tractive effort driving it forward and we have resistance to motion which is kv squared so at the maximum speed we're going to get t is equal to kv squared at max speed there's not going to be any acceleration so we can definitely say that t is equal to kv squared and t is also equal to the power output divided by v so we definitely need to bring this in here so that would make t 2600 g over 3 v if i put it down here so that's equal to t and v is the variable we're looking for here so we now have v on both sides so that should help either to cancel it down and um, so t becomes 2600 g over 3 v at the max speed with no acceleration that's going to be equal to k k we got earlier to be g over 30 so you can see there's going to be some cancellations going on here by v squared so i can definitely cancel my g's so the cross multiply i'm going to get 3 v cubed i thought they may cancel but it looks like we have a v cubed here 3 v cubed is equal to 30 times 2600 just write that because then we divide by 3 by 2600 so dividing by 3 i'm going to get v cubed is equal to 10 times 2600 which is 26,000. and the cube root of 26,000 hopefully is 29.625 uh, my calculator is telling me it is i hope yours is too so the speed in meters per second if this is 29 point not 265 six two five